I think the Internet of Things is kind of really key to what's going to happen in the future with the volume of data that's going to be generated. It gives you the understanding of so many different data points to really understand the key behaviours of your customer and how you can interact with them better and to have a much better experience and to sell products and services to your customers that they really love and, and, and get benefit from. So I think that, that's really where data is going to play a key point in being able to understand and identify the patterns in the data that drive that value opportunity. We're seeing more and more information coming out of different various sources from systems, um, from people, and there's a huge opportunity here to bring all this together to understand how people are traveling and how services are running and how our systems are operating in a way that we haven't seen before. The real value of this is how do you bring this together to answer sort of key questions for businesses, for organizations, for cities, and it's when you sort of bring all this different data together and mash it together and have insight that you'll see um, an understanding of what people are doing and how cities and are operating and how systems are operating, and then the real opportunity is only then when you say, what am I going to do differently? How am I going to improve things? How am I going to build for the future? The one thing that we do know is that we need to be a, a more connected world. Um, so, you know, when we look at the omni-channel um, you know, experience that we, we like to deliver, that needs to be part and parcel of that. Uh, particularly with a, a lot of the sporting events that we run, um, I think Internet of Things will become a lot more interesting, particularly on wearable devices and so forth. Most analysts believe that the in Internet of Things and the industrial Internet of Things will provide in the long term um, even greater value from data and analytics than we've seen so far in the consumer world. Um, and I think a lot of that is driven by the large sums uh, of money that can be involved. So a couple of examples, if you think of an oil rig, um, they typically are generating a million dollars or more of, of uh, revenue a day. So if you have unplanned maintenance, if something goes wrong, um, that can be a, a very, very costly event. So using predictive asset maintenance to try to prevent that can be very valuable. Um, another example is a, an open mining company um, that we work with. And they have hundreds of large diggers and um, equipment um, that can cost many millions of dollars each, uh, spread over a, I think it's 90 square kilometer site. And so by using data and analytics that's coming from all of these different pieces of equipment, you can really optimize um, how they're used. So for example, you know, at, a, at a shift change, if you can um, make that more efficient by half an hour or an hour, you're talking um, many, many tens of thousands of dollars of improved productivity.